Sodon, and welcome back to another episode of the Ant Hill Channel. So, to start the episode, I actually have a question. Were you aware that Arizona is home to over 400 known ant species? Another thing that Arizona is known for is monsoon season, a time of year where we get very heavy and quick rainfall. Now what do ants and monsoons have in common? Well, not much, but the ants do rely on the monsoons. You see, as soon as the rains let up, it's finally soft enough in the dirt for the queen ants to dig their initial founding chambers and to start a colony, just like this ant. You see, this is a queen pogonomer mix, a harvester ant, and here in Arizona, they are plentiful, and I just love to watch them dig. They're so quick at it. They're actually one of the most proficient diggers in the ant kingdom. And that's a good thing, because above ground, they're easy prey. And look at this one, it looks like an ostrich. Oh, look, another ostrich. And another ostrich. Oh, that one's a full-on ant. But that one's prey. And nearby is a fully-fledged colony of harvesters. One day, this is what those queens hope to accomplish. Good luck, ladies. It really is so cool to watch them dig. I could just sit here and do it all day. But this one looks a little lost. I think I'll catch her. And boom, wow, golly, my hand is dirty. Sorry, that's actually spray paint from something that I was doing yesterday. It just doesn't wash off very well. Need some nail polish remover or something. But I digress, back to the ants. Oh, and what do we have here? There's a ton of tiny little ants coming out of a little hole in the ground. Oh, they're big-headed ants. This is a Fidole colony. Possibly a Fidole desertorum, but I'd have to get a closer look to be sure. Whoa, oh, there's a queen. Oh, and whoa, there's some drones up here. Wow. Whoa, the drones are massive. Whoa, oh, and there's a queen. Yes. Now, I can't actually catch this queen as she hasn't made it yet. They're just leaving their colony to go do that. But these queens and these drones won't mate as they're from the same colony. They have to go out and find different mates. Only then could I find one. So, good luck to me, I guess. But either way, this is so cool to see. Whoa, and she just took off like a jet. That was insane. Oh, and look at this queen. She's spreading her wings. She got a scent. Oh, gotta get a little higher. And there she goes. Look, her sister didn't even know they could do that. That's crazy. They're just subterranean jets. Oh, and boom, another one. That is awesome. And what is this? Oh, nope, nope, that's a wasp, that's a wasp, bye bye, bye. Actually, I think it was a day, but still a wasp. And out in the street, I found another queen. This one looks like a tiny Paganomer mix. That's crazy. And look at this, there's two termites. Now the termite is actually more closely related to the cockroach. And unlike the ant, the termite will have to mate every single time they want to produce an offspring. That's why we see two of them here. It's a male and a female. They have mated and they will for life. Now this termite is a bit larger, so I think that they're a subterranean termite, meaning that they mostly eat soil and plant matter. Now going back into my yard, on a little piece of grass, I noticed this. They're so small that my phone can't even focus on them. Whoa. They almost look like an Argentine ant, but I'm not sure. I need to get a closer look, just like with the other one. Either way, how neat. This plant is alive. Oh, whoa, just above me. Look, it's a bunch of ants mating. It's the Fidole. Yes, I think I'm gonna be able to get a mated queen. Oh, this is exciting. Oh my God, those are all ants. All right, I gotta put the phone down, hang on. And boom. Back at home and we have some ants, so let's see what we got. All right, so just after I stopped recording, I found this carpenter ant as well as those fidole. So boom, right into the test tube with her, nice and easy, thank you. As well, we got some Poganomer mix, or Poganomer mix, I've heard it both ways. This ant is also polygenic, which means that they can found together as long as their attitude allows for it. I'm using a pipe cleaner to pick them up as a little pair of tweezers. It's super delicate and won't hurt the queen. But either way, these pogs are actually semi-clustral, so I'm going to need to move them out of this test tube later. I just wasn't prepared to catch them right now. So tomorrow, I'll get a proper container set up. 
but for now, this will be perfect. And whoa, that is a small queen. Possibly a Brachymermex, but I'm not too sure. And boom, a medium queen. I think that this one is a Ferelius. And boom, another small ant. I like these tiny ones, they're super cute. I think that this one might be one of those Argentines. I'm not too sure though. And to save one of my favorites for last, grass. I'm just kidding. It's a bunch of Fidole. I caught eight Fidole queens, all of which I believe are fully mated. It's hard to believe that all of these are queen ants. They're vastly different, yet so similar. That's crazy to me. I love this. But all right, it's time to stop stressing these queens out and get them in the cabinet. Here's one, two, three, four, I have uh, too many to count. All right, there we go. But either way, I think that's a great place to call it an episode. So thank you for watching. Have a great day and toodaloo.